bit chilly out here. Um, I didn't really expect it. I think I should probably put a jacket on. <laughs> Anyways, glad you guys are here today. Um, I knew it was going to be cold tonight, so I like to think I was a little bit prepared. I've got some uh, hacks for you, if you will. Um, mainly electric weird stuff uh, to keep you warm at night and new sleeping bag and all sorts of stuff. Um, first, I think I need to get a jacket on. But anyways, we didn't expect snow and we got snow, so that's cool. The rig's white, looks really cool in snow. The bike's white, the propane tank's white. I mean, come on, it's cool. So yeah, we're happy to have you here uh, cause I gotta stay busy so I don't stay too cold. So first let's get a jacket on and we'll see you in the video. <laughs> No, crazy snow. First time, no, first time it's in the snow with all the gear on it, tents and everything. So yeah, that's. Yep, definitely some snow on the ground in here, Codes. Oh man. Yeah, last time we were here it was cold, but man, not this cold. snow a little patch here but nothing too crazy coat is dying to get out let's get our inclinometer out here so we can pull up and be pretty level okay let's see what we're working with here we've got this thing's pretty accurate actually all right that's good Ooh, we need a jacket we need a jacket oh we need a jacket Got a nice fire pit, it's got snow in it. <laughs> and I got snow on my Crocs and I had socks on my Crocs, so that's not good. I don't have too much snow though. My Patagones, I bought this used in Bend, Oregon. Took it all the way to the Arctic Ocean with me. So it's got some good vibes. Got a little Yukon pin here. This will keep me warm. So stoked I was able to fit three inches of memory foam in here and it's a little bit tight uh, as you can see um but packs down nicely and that should give me a little bit more insulation on the bottom as well but the tent is a little bit more snug with that extra three inches that's for sure Yeah, it just needs another little, little push. Like me, we all need a little push sometimes, right? Alrighty. Let's get it set up to be warm in there. And then we'll get the firewood out. We got a bunch of firewood um, on the way. I stopped off the side of the road and boom, there it was. So Kevin from Nichols Auto Fab gave me this. It's like a cut up egg carton uh, soaked in candle wax, tied off with like fishing line or something. So I light this as the wick and apparently this will stay lit for like 10 minutes. Get the fire going real easy. I've been meaning to try one of these out. Thanks Kevin. Let's try this out. Hmm. Oh wow, so I got pine needles in there, that should get it going, my pine needles. Alright, well that worked really well. <laughs> Code is excited, yay bubbles, <laughs> are you stoked? 
Are you stoked? <laughs> hey, we got our firewood, bubbies. Coach, what are you doing with that firewood? A beast stole my firewood. It's going pretty good there. Hey, campfire is not one of my hacks, but it is a must. I know, the light's bright, I'm sorry. Heated blanket. So this is a 12 volt. I was running 110, which is silly. Just draws way more. And this is smaller, which at first I thought a bigger one would be better, but I realized that smaller might be better because keeping the coils straight is really important to keeping it heated. Uh, we've got a new, new uh, sleeping bag. I bought this all on Amazon just recently, so I'll link everything below as well. Uh, but first, let's get it up in the tent and see how it feels. I don't really have to climb the ladder with it. I can stuff it in from below. All right. All right, I got an extra pillow and my bag of tricks. I'll show you what, oh, and I'll grab this. This is like a full face shield. Be in here. All right, Cody, so we'll get you warm, don't worry. All right, so we've got our heated blanket here. We're just gonna throw it on Coda right now, just to get her warmed up. Yeah, we'll get you warm with the heated blanket. Oh yeah, you taste those Doritos? Those are good, huh? All right, so in my bag of tricks, well, there's only two tricks, but they should be pretty good tricks. First one is a hand warmer, USB hand warmer. Pit Karen Overland. I'd seen these before, but he reminded me that these exist and recommended I got one. So this one's orange, of course, and it actually works really good heats up real quick so we're gonna cuddle with this and warm up with this little bad boy as well as socks not just any old socks though heated socks <laughs> i wish i had some for you instructions do we need instructions for heated socks nah there's only three settings all right let's get these bad boys on here Ooh, my feet are so cold just thinking about it here we go so yeah, I guess I do kind of want to read and remember which setting is which. Oh no, I ripped you in half. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, green is long lasting. So that's what we'll do. Nine to ten hours. Really get cold, we can crank them up. Oh, it's so crazy. And then you put the... <laughs> Pretty funny. Put the battery in there. All right, that's pretty weird. So we're just gonna have that like poking out. That's weird. All right, Cody Girl, you comfy? You under the heated blanket and the big comforter. <laughs> all right, she's under all that stuff and uh, yeah, it's getting really warm. The heated socks are just kind of a nice touch. Um, totally not necessary, but I'm not like mentally, I'm not worried about my feet. And this bag is nice, but mummy bag. I, I've got it all the way unzipped right now. I didn't really think I was gonna be a mummy bag type guy. I like a bigger bag. I like to move around. So I don't know if this bag's working out for me. A big bag. I need a big bag. Anyways, we're pulling. Oh, we're not pulling any watts. Is that heated blanket on? Oh, there we go. Pulling 56 watts. I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. I'm feeling pretty dang warm right now. 
and I'm really liking the heated socks. Um, I haven't messed with the hand warmer that much, but I'm actually surprised about these heated socks. I mean, they're putting the heat right at the bottom of my feet, like right where you want it, where it's kind of make my entire body feel warm. Um, and that's what they say about your feet if you keep your feet warm. So I don't know, heated socks, man. I figured with all these weird little things I'm trying out, looks with the upgrades, we'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Oh, we made it through the night. Still a little cold, uh, dark out. But uh, yeah, I got, oh, I stayed warm um, pretty much all night. I tried to put the face shield on this thing, which by the way is like a thermal, oh jeez, protector uh, for hunting. Um, but this was just way too claustrophobic. <clears throat> There you go, Beans. It's not so bad. <laughs> good girl. I had a good sleep last night. I actually woke up sweating at one point, if you can believe it. She had too many layers on and I was a little bit too warm. The biggest thing was in the middle of the night feeling like claustrophobic and all this stuff like just wrapped around me. Like, I don't like that. So I had a little temper tantrum in the middle of the night. Ah! I'll pack it down real easy. We'll mob out. We won't even feel it on the truck. We got five hours of driving to do today. And we're camping in Texas tonight at a spot that should be a little bit warmer. Um, so it should be a, a lot more comfy of a night. It's really kind of fun to do a cold night and then a little bit warmer of a night because you're like, oh, it's so nice. But yeah, thanks so much for watching this video of Coda and I freezing our butts off. We are actually on our way to Oklahoma where we'll remove this bed and start designing the truck camper. It's been a long time coming, um, so I'm very excited. So stay tuned for updates on that. Comment below, let me know what you thought of this video and how I stayed warm. And if you enjoyed it, hit the like. Uh, and also check out my Patreon for behind the scenes footage. Of course, make sure you're subscribed here and tap that bell so you get all the new notifications. So excited to take you along for the ride. We'll hit Texas today and Oklahoma on the next day. The only question is, are you down to mob? Whew.